Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Transy Ruby, a game that, um, as usual, I know very little about, except that when I randomly saw it on Steam, it immediately spoke to me. Um, I mean, you can already hear, which I didn't know at the time, that it has pretty, a pretty lovely soundtrack, apparently. Well, at least this music is pretty nice. Um, it's uh, Metroidvania, of course, and it, uh, it has lovely pixel graphics that actually remind me a lot from the couple screenshots I saw of a more more vibrant, colorful cave story, basically, which is, I mean, if that's what it's aiming for, and if it even halfway succeeds, it should be a, a pretty good game. So, uh, without any further ado, let's jump into it. It's a little bit loud, actually, on my end, but I did set it to the usual uh, volume level, so hopefully recording-wise it's fine. Uh, if not, well... I'll have it fixed by the next episode, hopefully. Achievements, database. Uh, no, I, I guess we just want to play, but uh, let's see what there is for options. Uh, PSG style or FM style? Which I cannot do. I'm also not sure what PSG is for. Or FM, for that matter, in this context? Hmm, time display. Maybe for, like, speedrunning purposes? Oh, interesting. I mean, it, I am playing in full screen, so 1080p. Oh, I wonder if switching this on the fly would break anything? I guess it's just the internal rendering resolution. I'm gonna start the game at the default values and look at it, and if it looks crisp and everything, I, I guess I don't have to change anything. Um, okay. Manual. Interesting that they include a manual, but I'm assuming that basic controls are gonna get explained in-game as you know, is pretty much standard, so... Let's go. Well, looks crisp enough to me. Yeah. <laughs> winky winky. Oh. Oh, what? What was that? Did I do anything? <laughs> I just walked to the right. Good morning, Sirubi. Oh, Tran Sirubi? <laughs> Alright. Your scan results are all clear. Neocom is. or ne ne Necom. Necom, I see. Neco computer? Mm hmm. It's her personal AI assistant or something? Of course they are. All I've been doing is lays around. There's no reason for me to break. So she's some. She, she's a cyborg, right? I mean, it looked pretty obvious from the. The more detailed title screen art. Good, you're self-aware. Excellent mental condition, too. Okay, yeah, move, jump, attack. Oh, the melee attack, awesome. I didn't know that. Oh, hold on. Oh, you automatically combo into a, a ground pound? But you can also ground pound right off the bat. You cannot, you can duck. Oh, and you can look down. Okay, you cannot do that with a stick. You can move the left stick. That's good to know. Uh, anything else? Well, we have a menu on uh, the Y button. Tran chip live 50. Uh, that lights up when I select that. Hmm. Uh oh. Wait. Okay, B, B button doesn't do anything for now. Uh, triggers don't do anything. Shoulder buttons don't do anything. We have the game menu like that. Is this gonna have... Oh yeah, this is actually the map. There's just not any data there yet. Enemy data. Okay. Looks like it doesn't scroll, so maybe these are all the enemies that are there. I have no idea about the scope of the game. It might be relatively short. It was very small, like only 200 megabytes or so. But I guess with these graphics that could still make for a substantial game. Um, anyway, uh, let's just actually start playing, I guess. Hello? Sirubi, have you taken a look at the plant sample the UC sent the other day? Well, no, but I've seen it down there. The one they found seven years ago, when there was a dimension fall? <laughs> you know, a dimension fall? That sounds like a normal occurrence. Hmm, where did I put it? Why don't you have a look behind that wooden box? The plant grows by absorbing all kinds of energy around it. If you don't keep it carefully, it might suck our ship's energy sources dry. <gasps> And Sirubi, you should clean your room more often. I I'll hire a maid at some point. 
Where even are we? Aren't we on some sort of spaceship or a space station? Yeah, of course we can. Okay, so there's no gravity, apparently. Those boxes just don't care. Plan simple. Handle with care. Do not take out of capsule. Hmm. And immediately, disaster strikes. What was that? A dimension fall, perhaps? Something... Definitely looks like it's falling out of another dimension. <laughs> dimension fall, indeed. It's a big one. Looks like we're the closest to it. If we're lucky, we might find a DNA quartz. Serebi, are you ready? Of course I am. This is what I've been training for, presumably. Zoo. Oh, right, this is our spaceship. Space cube. We travel to the larger space cube. Whoa. Oh, okay, made by what? What was that? Three people? Four? I don't know. Uh, Mission Control, this is Sirabi. I've arrived on the surface. Sirabi, this is Nikon. I have your coordinates. Is everything alright? My thruster broke on impact. My crystal rod has shattered. Oh, of course. So we'll have to find replacements. Or get them repaired. Also, every cartridge I had melted upon entering the atmosphere. Conveniently resetting you to level 1. Alright. Oh, and also, I've lost, my <laughs> I've lost all map data. Well, not that we had any map for this place beforehand, right? What? To put it simply, I've lost approximately 70% of my functions. Uh, Alright, give me a moment. Whoa, hey. What? Uh, I've just sent out automated mobile containers to you. Yeah, except they just ran away. They will gather materials locally and create basic equipment for you. Oh, okay. So, you'll have to go retrieve the containers. Try to explore the place while you do. Okay. Hey, first achievement for... Well... Starting to play the game. Dimension Realm? Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Oh, this is a map. Okay, I see. Oh, do I see? Yes, I guess. Symbol. Oh, this just highlights these symbols, I guess. These two types of symbols. Okay. So that's we're looking at the entire map of the game, and look, I, I suppose. But, I mean, that's fine. It's still a lot of rooms to explore. Symbols X. Oh, ah. Trendships. Wait. Okay, so there are trendships all around us, at least in the top left uh, section of the map. Uh, one shutter that we know about, I suppose. These are item containers and key items. Okay, so those are the boxes that we saw and two key items. Uh, safe points. Okay. And gates and a gate and three plugs. And then we also have more categories. This is uh, a Tori gate that I think was also fe featured on the title screen, right? So that's gonna play a role later. And these are who knows what. Okay, all right. So that's how that works. Not sure about the why, why the transship live fifty down there lights up. But I'm sure that makes sense later. Area. But, uh oh, Wait. terrain on, terrain off. Not sure why you wouldn't want to do that. Um, also, I'm not sure what highlighting the area does. It doesn't seem to do anything right now. Switch display. Right, yes. Plan sample. Handle with care. Do not take out of capsule. Secret. Okay. 0 out of 3 something. 0 out of 15 trenchips, I suppose. And 0 out of 15 who knows what. Maybe these are going to be our upgrades. Okay, well, oh yeah, there's, I mean, there's a Tory gate right here. Are you trenches? Wait. Uh, I suppose so. Okay, so that's just currency then. Presumably. I mean, what do I know? Can I drop down through this? Do I want to? I cannot, and I probably don't want to, so. Man, this looks lovely though. I love this kind of pixel art style. And isn't it reminiscent of, of Cave Story? I mean, it's been a very long time since I played that, but... 
Just I guess it's mostly the resolution and the the size of the character compared to the the blocks that the world is made of. It's not the exact same, but you know it's it definitely gives me those vibes. The music is great. And it's just super charming. I don't know. The character is, is cute and the cat avatar is cute. What are those floating black things? Well, enemies, obviously. That's a dark materian. It must have appeared after the dimension fall. It's not that strong. I'm sure you can defeat it easily. If you say so. Dark materian, huh? Can I do... Oh, wait. Nope. That <laughs> just outright crashes it. Alright. No bouncing on the enemy to get up to that ledge there. Uh, we're collecting green stuff, which I suppose is probably a good thing. Those dark materials in the ground look hard to reach. You'll be fine. Your sword has a wide, wide attack range. You should be able to hit them just by swinging your sword nearby. You won't need to jump into the hole. Well, that's good. But I could also do this. Nice. I mean, I guess I gambled on uh, being able to defeat them in one go. Uh, terrain view. I don't know if terrain view is very helpful. Actually, it's in fact it's really not displaying the... Or is it, actually? Wow. I mean, I wish I could zoom in, which I can't. Um, I can turn terrain off entirely, which is also not really helpful. I can't quite tell if it's actually like a super tiny uh, zoomed out vision of the uh, view of the, of the room layout as it is in-game, or if it's like an artistic rendition. I think it's the former, but it's really hard to tell. It's so so small, so unfortunately it's not really giving me super useful information here. Oh, these enemies respond immediately. Okay, your sword range is also very, very short, so keep that in mind. Um, just wanted to make sure I didn't forget to look around to look at something I could have looked at. Oh, actually, wait, no, I couldn't go there. That's right. And they're already back again. Okay, so we're filling up those uh, green... Yeah, I can actually hit them. Uh, those green blips underneath are presumably health. Also, it looks like stuff is just getting magnetized to me automatically. No need to worry about that. I can inch my way forward while swinging the sword, but... Okay. I wonder if it's just... If the green stuff is just energy of some sort, or uh, actually an experience bar? I mean, I don't know if there would be leveling in, in this game. Cerebi, you could use a downward stab on enemies at the bottom of cliffs. I mean, yeah. Duh. Downward stab? Just concentrate on moving downwards while you jump. <laughs> concentrate, well. Whenever you jump from a high place, I suggest you do a downward stab just in case. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah. Interesting. It's powerful enough to defeat any dark materian in one blow. Unless it's a boss. Really? So that's guaranteed to kill any enemy, any normal enemy in one blow. That's pretty good. Cannot go there, no. Eh. Oh, whoa, yeah, yeah, this is exactly what the game was, ta uh, was talking about. But I also didn't take any damage. I wonder if there isn't contact damage. Uh, keep record. Uh, achievement for saving the game, awesome. Okay, that definitely dealt contact damage. Okay, we got part of the money. Is this a door? It's sealed. Some kind of power is working on it. Yeah? Uh, why? What? Oh, to use an item. I see. So there's a yin-yang symbol on the door itself, of course, and there's a uh, glowing Tori gate symbol in front of it. Surely not meaningful at all. Does this heal me? Nope. Well, that's good to know. Worth noting that uh, starting to attack in mid-air actually completely stops your movement, or, well, almost completely. Pretty much. Oh, there's a big one up there. Can I look up? Yes. You have to hold... Hold up or down for a little while before the camera pans, but you can do it. Okay. Shooting enemies, and there's also a supply box. There's a supply box up there as well. Surely we'll gain the ability to bounce on enemies at some point, because oh, I'll pretty much need to do that here. Unless I can just... Surely I can't just... Yeah, no. <laughs> well. Oh. Interesting. 
spring pads. Ooh, this probably gets me to where that item is, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, yes it does. Give me all the stuff. Element gun, okay. Act freezes enemies and activates switches. You found a container. You got an element gun. It uses EP for bullets called element shots. Element shots can be used to activate switches. And also freeze dark materials that will stop them from moving and turn them into platforms, right? You won't get hurt when you touch a frozen dark material. That means you can use them like a foothold. I know that. It's my default equipment, remember? Anyway, you need EP to shoot. You can get EP by defeating enemies. Always be mindful of your EP so you don't run out when you really need it. Yeah. I mean, that green bar did not fill particularly fast, though. Which is kind of worrisome, but because... Okay, I can just uh, hit B to, to shoot, yeah. Frozen enemies can be stepped on safely. Eleven shots uh, use EP. <laughs> That's another achievement, okay. Um, thanks, game. How long do they stay frozen? Indefinitely? Perhaps? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Uh, where exactly... Am I? Okay, about the save point. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm done. This is back where I was before. Hmm, that being said, I think you may have noticed frozen enemies sometimes drop a pink crystal when you defeat them. Those are LP. Okay, so only when they're frozen they give me health. I, w I was wondering if um, health would just be a random drop now that I actually I'm actually missing some. LP? Using LP will recover one life point. You should freeze your enemies as you go till you get a hang of things to be safe. Alright, I'll practice on the next enemy I find. Yep, 30% drop rate from frozen enemies. I mean, they do turn green, so... Oh, I'm also not getting any luck here. I mean, they do turn green, but green is not actually the, the color of health. Uh, right, and to finish my train of thought from earlier, I wonder if I'll ever find myself, or how often, rather, I'll find myself in a situation where I'll need to, uh, you know, actually grind for energy. I hope not too often, because... Oh, there's some health, finally. Because that would be a pretty annoying, I guess. Could get pretty annoying. I mean, enemies do respawn pretty quickly, it looks like, but still. I mean, there's nothing I can do up here, right? need to be able to... Well, I don't know if there's anything I can do here, really. Can't see anything below here. Maybe if, if I get some sort of super crazy... Oh, yeah. Super crazy double jump boost combo. I could absolutely see myself getting... Yeah, I mean, it looks like the map continues up and to the left, so there's got to be some way to get there. And a double jump would get me up there. And up here... Not for now. Surely I'll get some sort of passive upgrade that just increases um, LP recovery because, yeah. as it is, it just you know you have to you have to kill several enemies to even get a single charge of a shot. And imagine missing a shot in a crucial situation that would be, you know, most unfortunate. Okay, there we go. At least health is back to full. Yeah, okay, that's on me. Please help, no. Alright. And of course you don't get any recovery, any EP recovery from frozen enemies. Thanks for the health. I suppose the game does provide plenty of enemies for recovering your stuff, and yeah, again, rooms like this, or setups like this, just allow you to fill up real quick. Okay, once all the points are filled, the bar does not fill anymore. I tried to do a downward attack, and somehow didn't. We can break these, yeah, I just didn't try before. Oh. 
I didn't even see this door. I was so focused on the five thing over there. I wonder what that means exactly. We can go back here, we can. So, oh, there were, yeah, yeah, okay. There were these big platform enemies. One of them here. Sirubi, do you see that black diamond to your right? The one with the number on it? Yes, that's the one. That's a countdown switch. You can activate it by shooting at it. Alright, okay, yes. I was told that I could activate switches. I see. I guess I just shoot all the black objects that look suspicious. Black objects that look suspicious. Wait. Oh, I don't... Wait. Oh. Yeah, okay. So you do shoot the, the switch itself, of course. Just three times. Hmm. Well, here goes nothing. Oh. I should have found the plunging attack. As the game told me. Thanks for the health. Look before you leap. Uh -huh. 36 uh, trendships. Power of trendship. Oh, interesting. I don't know if you... No, surely I've killed enemies that were overlapping with one strike before, right? So I don't know why I didn't kill those two enemies in one go. Maybe I just barely missed the one that was slightly further away? Must be. Alright. Uh, what's the map say? Okay, there's still some money left up and to the left, but I, I'm i pretty sure I couldn't have gotten that. Probably. Well, actually, I'm, I'm not really sure, but... You know. Um, yeah, there's a save point that I just came from. An item to the left. Of course, I can only go uh, down or over this way. I guess I should shoot that blank object too. I'm gonna push it? No. Oh, I can. Now it's moving as a platform. Oh, is it gonna crush me? No. Not that money. No. It's fine. I should have done a plunging attack. Did I get more currency? Well, more EP? If you kill them with a plunging attack? I don't know. Um, hard to tell. You're stuck. I'll give you a hint. You can shoot your gun upwards. I was wondering. Because, I mean, I, I did see that 5 switch that was up in a little corner. I knew that. Yeah, all right. And this should be where... No, actually, never mind. That's just on the other side of this barrier, all right. Can you shoot down? You absolutely can, and that's... I'm one short. No, not anymore. I wonder if this crushes me. Oh, I'm so tempted to... Try. Okay. Shortcut unlocked. Okay, but there was something down this way, wasn't there? Well. Not over this way. Or if there was, I can't return easily. Could keep going down. That's lo That looks like one of the collectible... Icons, also this... L I don't think this ladder to my left here is actually active. No, it is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Should not waste energy like that. I think I can probably make this jump. Yep, but that's as far as I can get from here. Okay, let me get some energy back. I feel kind of naked without <laughs> at least a couple of... Shots ready. Well, um, let's see what's up this way first before we get further down. 50... what? Oh! Well, <laughs> I hope I didn't need my money for anything else. <laughs> my trendships. I've got a signal for a trendship on my radar, but I don't see it. 
The radar covers a pretty large area. Maybe the chip is in a place where you can reach. Like, beyond the ceiling? Okay, yeah, thanks. Yep, there's money up there. I saw those guys from above, I think. Can I swim? Uh, well, not really. Yeah, no, I can't actually swim. I can just jump possibly a little bit higher than normal. Maybe not even higher, just more slowly. I don't suppose I can hit that guy now. Of course not. Um, I don't know if that's going to work, really. No, surely it's going to be fine, right? Yeah, yeah. Some Dark Materians might shoot at you. But don't worry, you can slice their bullets with your sword. Convenient. Some bullets can't be cut, though. How do I know? If the enemy's attacks are too rapid, you can slice their bullets as you get close. <laughs> She's, she doesn't like the idea. Oh, wow, these guys also don't die in one hit. Hold on, the game told me that... Plunging attack will... Yeah, one-shot anything, okay. Didn't lie to me. Element cartridge. Increases energy capacity for the element gun. Okay. Whoa, okay, so we get two full bars. That's... That's nice, actually. That does make me feel a little bit better about the whole thing. What's that black thing on the ground? Yeah, I, I've already figured out that I can shoot down. Okay, Serby, I'll give you a hint. I don't need one. Well, the game tells me anyway. I said I don't need one! <laughs> uh, Alright. I mean, fair enough. It's, you know, pretty simple to figure out. But still. Oh. I thought anything... Any energy was automatically magnetized to you? I guess not. Not over any distance. Alright. Um... I wonder if there's any, ever anything inside boxes like this. But, you know, can't hurt to check. You can destroy these guys, right? Yeah, in one shot, actually. Ooh, we have an, exactly enough. Almost as if the game planned it out that way. Because I might have actually been everywhere I could get. Map has been updated. Press Y to have a look. Oh, now it's going to show me, yeah, the next area. So I cleared, yeah, I collected all the currency, all the transships. I suppose it's not so much currency, it's just you need these to unlock these gates, I guess. In fact, was that gate... No. It's not one of these gates. Right, there was only the one. Right. And technically one of the plugs is actually in the area that we've explored, but um, up there in a square that I have only touched. Um... Yeah, we also got all the treasures in, well, in the area that we have been to. But once again, I'm going to... Yeah, there was a way... So obviously I can go beyond this gate now, but there was somewhere to go this way, wasn't there? Yeah, I could have gone here somewhere. That needs to be opened from the other side. Gotcha. Is there anything... No. Nothing to collect in one of those. Surely there must be secret passages somewhere, right? Like illusory walls. Okay. I need to go back up and to the right if I can. Just to remind myself. Oh, wait. Can I? No, I can't. Oh, I fell, and that's that's that. Well, I can't go through here. Since we opened that shortcut. Pretty sure there is nothing I can do up here yet. But, you know, it's quickly enough. Quick enough to re-traverse. Right. Eventually I'll be able to go there, and that's where the battery is. The plug, rather. Whatever. Plug and gate. I mean, it looks like those just go together. Like I'll have to carry... Pick up a plug and carry it to the gate, perhaps? 
I wonder why there's three of those and only one gate, though. It's all gonna make sense eventually. Speaking of which, that <laughs> doesn't really have anything to do with that, but 30 minutes on the clock. I wonder how long I should make these episodes. I mean, this doesn't seem like a very long game. I could probably finish it in just a couple of sessions. Ooh, I forget. I keep forgetting. There's something interesting over there. What's that? Oh, that's a key item, probably. It's blue. So maybe. Oh, this is just... No, not quite. There's a save point. This is where this was. Right, yeah, I have to write this up. Oh, nice. But I think this is back down here. Yeah, okay. Fair enough, so... The only way... The only way is actually through that uh, transship gate that we opened. Which makes sense. build combos, too? I'm not sure what that does for me. Well... What is this? Oh, it's just, just money. Derp. What is this? That's a thing. Uh, what kind of thing? I don't know. It's not one of the plugs up there, that's for sure. Oh, I'll just carry that here. Yeah. I don't know. I suppose... Okay. Ultimately, oh, this is gonna go to a boss fight. Yep. I can read basic iconography. And this is blocked off until we can break stone blocks. So... Yeah, anyway. I, I feel like with a game like this, a shorter, shorter videos could work. But on the other hand, I want to keep playing. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a secret message. I mean, not breakable, but... Still somewhat secret. Aha. Uh -huh. Increases life bar capacity. Nice. Good to have before the boss fight. For sure. Hey there, big guy. Neko, what can you tell me about this? Give me a moment. Military server Kalasma. Looks like a server used to manage information around this area. It's been damaged by dark materials. Only its defense mechanisms seem to be functioning properly, of course. That means it's alright to destroy it. I mean, it's also going to be uh, unavoidable, I suppose. Remember, sword attacks work on larger dark materials, but element shots won't affect them. Okay, so don't even bother trying to shoot it? That's kind of a shame. Hmm, a downward stab on its weak point should work nicely. Downward stab on its weak point. I'll give that a try. Weak point being the top of the head, probably? Maybe? I mean, where else could I really plunge attack to? Oh, okay. Uh... Can I walk through? Yes, actually. Whoa. Whoa. What? How? <laughs> and... Uh oh. Oh, what? Wait. No, wait. What am I doing? There's the... I see. Okay, those enemies... Well, I don't know. If they actually give me anything. Oh yeah, they will. Alright. Okay, probably yeah, just stay further away from, from him when he does that. Nope. Oh, I did not mean to destroy that. And you can't just keep attacking him for massive Oh no, what am I doing? Wait. Oh, I okay, the whole floor was damaged there. Please give me health. I need the platforms too, but... <sighs> but I need to live. <laughs> Does that work? I mean, I can just... I can't just damage him all the time, actually. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna take damage, but... Okay. <laughs> Wow, that was, yeah. I could have been dealing a lot more damage if I just continued to attack. Oh, hey there. But hey, first try victory, I'll take it. Uh, where am I? Who are you, much more importantly? Antler girl. Did you save me? 
I guess I did? What were you doing inside a server robot? I'm Yamato. A scientist researching this realm. Or so I'd like you to think. <laughs> I'd like you to think. Uh, so, uh, I'm basically lying to you, but this is what I'm gonna tell you. Okay. You'd like me to think? That's so suspicious. Oh, I'm Sirubi, by the way. Sirubi. Thank you, Sirubi. I think I'll go now. Um, bye. Hey! Yamato isn't her name. It's the name of, the, of her frame. Okay. Also, her ID isn't on the UC database. Well, she doesn't seem hostile, so I guess it's okay? Hmm. Those asleep in the woods. Defeat military server Kalasma. Okay. Not sure if uh, achievements get recorded. That's tends to differ from game to game. Underground woods. Okay. Yeah, this is also a very cave story, isn't it? Displaying the area name like that. Can I please get up there? Oh, okay. Those guys shoot. Didn't even realize that was a different kind of dark materian. Right. The shots aren't really all that dangerous. You're paying attention. Stay vigilant. Hmm, I could jump down there. But that wouldn't do me much good. Maybe I'll find the... Oh, I didn't expect to just drop off there. Maybe I can... What? Hey, I didn't mean to walk in here, maybe. I suppose it's probably not dangerous, but still. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'll have to find the green orb uh, some other time. Nekom, look at this. Yep, it's a SS level DNA quartz. Okay, so that's what we're looking for, right? Unfortunately, with your current equipment, you won't be able to carry it back. Oh. What? Slide the pieces to take the piece with the red crystal out of the board. Oh. Uh, what? What? That's an actual sliding puzzle? Okay. About the puzzle. Why? Okay, I guess I'll... I mean, it's... Probably straightforward enough. Um, is this gonna do anything for me if I do this? No, <laughs> not really. Um, uh oh. Already stuck. Does this help me? Maybe, actually? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I guess some of the tiles were just basically red herrings. I didn't have to interact with these down here at all. This looks like a DNA record? Seems so. You'd know more about that than me. Hold on a sec. Whoa, hey. Another person. That DNA quartz is mine. I got dips before you. Well, I mean, no you didn't? This big thing in the back? Yes, what else could I be talking about? Go ahead, take it. Uh, huh? Are you sure? Yeah, I can't bring it back with my current equipment anyway. D really? <laughs> Gee, uh, thanks. <laughs> uh, is it okay to just chop part of it off? Doesn't it break it? Guess not. I'm Douglas. Who may you be? Cerebi. Alright, Cerebi. I'll remember that. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. Well, next time maybe I'll have my equipment back and I'll uh, lay claim to the next ruby I find. N not ruby, I... Uh, DNA crystal, I guess. When I saw it, I thought, oh, this must be a ruby because, you know, the title of the game and all that, but no. Then refer to it that way. Oh, well. That man, uh, Douglas, was it? According to the UC database, he's a treasure hunter. A legitimate one at that. Both his parents work for UC too. Okay, so we might not end up being enemies? Hmm. I didn't know treasure hunters need their personal information in the database. He does lose some pri privacy, but in exchange it gives him credit. Oh, huh. okay. So... Did we... Gain anything? Okay, so there it looks like there's another upgrade for the gun. Judging by that little bar underneath it, and like three more energy and life upgrades, respectively. 
magnetism upgrade that also comes in different power levels, apparently. Not quite sure what this could be. A punching glove, a tire, or a record? This would be jump power, probably. No idea. DNA record, chaos amassed. Okay, can't do anything with that, but that's what that is. Okay. Enemy database? Oh, interesting. So it's not just a bestiary. Hmm, well then. Uh, we could continue this way, or there was maybe potentially somewhere to go here. Oh, well. No! There's the orb right there. Okay. Can I still... No, okay, when I attack, I just drop it. That makes sense, I suppose. No, and it... Despawns, of course. Okay. Well, of course I can deal with the enemies ahead of time. So I'll just have to probably avoid them for the most part. Okay, shooting also works to um, to do things. Okay, I can. Right, yeah. Uh, shooting also just drops the, the orb automatically. And, you know, allows you to do what I just did pretty easily. Also, you can climb ladders with the orb, which is what was my next question. Thankfully, they thought of that. Well, there is a thing. Yeah, the other uh, key item. Right. Are we looking for one more item container? No, there, there's got to be more, right? Yeah. And we've hardly picked up any more, any of the transships around this area. Ah, this is where we can get this. Oh, and those fall. Okay. Fair enough. I don't want to kill you. Uh, well, <laughs> it's probably not worth uh, falling all the way down for. Yeah, we saw this before. Get frozen. Another shortcut unlock. Hmm. Oh, we can't deal with that yet. It's below. Nothing much. Get there, can I? <sighs> uh, hello, new enemies. There's a dent in the shape of a diamond. Looks like something will fit in there. Well, I haven't found any diamond shaped keys yet. I won't be getting up that way. Whoa, what are you doing? Okay. Yep, still true. Oh, wait, I wonder. I could have frozen him, couldn't I? Probably. Yep, sure enough. In fact, you get a little bit more height, it looks like, when you freeze them uh, while they have their their gun open. Okay, that's gonna fall. Yeah, let's see if I can actually reach that platform with the blue key, looks like. That should be enough, right? Sure enough. Ruin key. A strange metal plate the shape of a diamond. Except Okay. Oh, but I can't still can't get high enough though. Dang. Wait, this is also where it fell down, right? Yeah, okay. Oh but I 
can make it across like that. Yep, stop. Whatever it was you were doing. Just activate that. Yeah, I'll have to fall down from above to get those. No, that's just a way back. Okay, fair enough. So there was a way further down, wasn't there? But also a way possibly across to the right. Probably could have made that jump with a lot of confidence. Okay. Ooh. I see. So this was... <gasps> oh, oh god. Right, this path. Yeah. Wait. Oh no, I could have landed on one of those platforms from above. I needed to, in fact. Okay, those guys are tanky when you're not using a plunging attack, which you absolutely should. Or do this, just one shot them. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, actually, if you don't go up the ladder, you don't even have to take a blind plunge. Certainly convenient. No! Ah! <laughs> Come on! Still need some help, though. Oh, like that. Nice. Well, it doesn't look like it, but thankfully your plunging attack has a bit of a of an area to it. That's nice. Okay. So my sword just barely cannot reach them, huh? I mean, I, yeah, it can actually, but you have to stand somewhat precariously on the edge there. And of course, all of these enemies come back. No, that's not what I meant to do at all. And I suppose I can take this way around. No problem. Um, what am I doing? I don't know why I hesitated. Okay, shots also just keep going, huh? Thanks for the health. least right now, but was there somewhere else I could go? Uh oh Was there actually a way down? Must be. Past this guy? Oh yeah, I never went down here. Alright. That's fair. Also, I need to remember that those flying things are always going to be shooting projectiles now. Ah. This is going to be another plunge without return. A plunge of no return. For now. Wait. Yes. Right, you can also destroy projectiles. Okay, well, we need to get that uh, sword upgrade pretty soon here. <gasps> no! I fell for it. Wait. Oh. Thankfully it didn't matter. Was there anything else down there? That's a pretty creepy looking statue. I hope it's a statue in the back. Hmm. I, mean, I like it, it looks awesome. Okay, more of those, huh? That one's crying. <laughs> okay, stop that. Some basic platforming across. Um, what am I doing? It's just that, I guess. Hey, there's the final one. Crystal Rod. Increases sword range. Yes. Sword range and power upgrade. Awesome. This is a crystal rod. Your sword will get stronger with this. You can probably destroy a rock around the size of a wooden box now. Would be my guess. Awesome. And the range attack. Oh, okay. It's... 
Not a huge range upgrade. Range attack? No, range upgrade. Um, I'm honestly... Well, obviously, I, I need the progression. Oh, no! I wasn't paying attention. Oh, and it respawns me here. I guess that counts as a checkpoint. That's convenient. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, re I noticed earlier that there was a an oxygen meter, but I just didn't realize... I wasn't paying attention to it. I was focusing on the, the sword upgrade thing. Am I gonna survive here? Oh. You move slowly underwater. Whew. Okay. Yeah, um... I was gonna say that I'm honestly most excited about the, the range upgrade for the sword, but, I mean, obviously, I literally need the... the power upgrade, the box cutting upgrade, to even be able to progress, so... I guess in that way... I'm also kind of excited about that. I kind of want to... Uh, I kind of want to go back. But I'm not sure that I can go back. For that... Um, for those uh, friendships that I needed to fall down on. Because I fell all the way down here, right? Unless, of course... This just leads to a way back to the surface? Or back higher up? It might. Well, if nothing else, there is this area over here. Of course, it's very possible that there was nothing nothing else to go to past that... Uh... Oh, wait. How is this going to work? Can I somehow make that work? Oh, yeah, of course. I can, I can shoot downward. I'm done. Uh, there might not be anything past that pool where I... Oh! I... Okay. You, your shot range is very limited. I technically knew that. I just didn't think it was going to be that much of an issue. So you have to really time yourself here. Or I'm making this more difficult than it really needs to be. I don't know. Okay, that was a little bit early, but thankfully still worked. Oh, wait. Can I... Yeah, totally. Can get here. Ooh, what's that? Interesting stuff everywhere. Um, what's that again? A shutter. Huh. Right. Okay. So the map does not tell us what that thing is, unless that is the shutter. But it seems to be basically on the same screen that we are on. Okay. We're just gonna fall back down from up there. It looks like. Wait. We can't break that. It's kind of awkward, but except, except, yeah, of course. Power of the downstab. So could use some healing. Like this right here. Um, where was the thing? Okay, further up. Oh yeah, I remember. Wait, that's yeah, that's fine. I'm sure it's worth it. I'll need the money eventually. Money. Friendships. Nope. Well, I mean, I can't just do that. Oh, can I? Hold on. Well, I was gonna do a plunging attack, which would have been a little bit more stylish, but I suppose that works. Right? Yeah. Clearing everything. I also keep forgetting about the automatic downstab after four air attacks. Just, I wonder why they did that. Right. I suppose mostly to prevent you from just floating in mid-air basically indefinitely. But then it also doubles as a nice combo because it actually deals so much damage. this way. There's clearly a passage to slip into right there, but also another instance of uh, falling down somewhere I can't get back from. So before I... Oh no. Already committed. I'm done. 
Yeah, up there is that pool. Hold on. Can we maybe get back out over this way? There's another not so, not so secret passage, but I also destroyed my stepping stone foolishly. Okay, that was not enough to respawn it. Come on. What am I getting myself into here? <laughs> so many paths. I mean, not that many, but still a couple. Okay, there was somewhere up there that I couldn't get to, apparently. There's only a little bit more money that I know of. No more treasures. One key upgrade. Key item. Speaking of which... I guess this crystal rod counted as a key? No, wait, it didn't. Hold on. There were... No, there wasn't... Wait, weren't there two key items displayed on the map before? Am I crazy? <laughs> there were, right? I didn't find one of them. Like, what would it be? So I still don't know what that 50... The live is down there below the, the symbols. Or what the area display is supposed to do for me. Huh. And the, the sword upgrade definitely is a key ability, in a way, but it was inside one of the supply boxes. Huh. Okay, what's over this way? Right, this is where I could have fallen down to. Wait, I wasted time. Don't. Do yeah, that's just gonna plunge me into that same, the same pool I was just in. Oh, I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm dead. That's fine. Ugh. <laughs> okay, this time we respawn at the save point. Oh, all the way back here. Well, honestly, that's fine, because it gives me a chance to... Yeah, that's, that's actually really good. <laughs> so I was wondering if there is not something further to the left that I could have come to. It's nothing that's on the map, so I don't know what it would be, but still, I want to know. Right, this is where we got the sword upgrade. That's that pool. Oh, the chances are I can't even... No, never mind. Oh, wait. I totally might be able to... Use that guy as a platform, but only when he's not right over here. <sighs> no, he, he can't forget about me. I mean, understandable. Wonder if that's enough. Maybe, though? I, well, not if I don't jump. No! Please jump, okay. It's interesting because enemies, once they're frozen... Oh, okay. Um, you know, they, they don't have a flat surface on the tops. Depending on the enemy, I suppose. Wait. I can't get here. I need the double jump. Which would make getting here much more trivial as well. That's a big one. Which is not marked on the map at all. It looks like it's just a huge... Friendship, right? So presumably worth a lot of money, but maybe it's something else. Okay, well, now I know. Now I can go back down here 
and I suppose back down through here. Oh no, I'm dead again. I don't learn. Yep. Okay, we definitely need some sort of key upgrade here. And actually, I just realized that I've also been playing for an hour, so I probably should stop it here. Man, I just want to keep going. This is this seems like the kind of game that you could just con finish in one go. But then again, we're at twenty percent completion right now. It looks like we're well. We've obviously been to way more than twenty percent of the map, but uh, well, clearly there's a lot, a lot more stuff to do in the areas that we've been to, in some of the areas at least. Um, I really wish I could zoom in on that map, and it would, it would make it really useful. As it is, it's just, you know, it gives me a rough idea where things are. And I guess I can now that I've uncovered more of it and actually removed um, many of the, the collectible icons. I can kind of tell what the areas are, but, um, you know, kind of have to squint and lean in in order to be able to really tell what's what. But that's fine. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, take a break here and we'll continue this, this little adventure next time. Uh, I've been enjoying this a lot so far. It's, you know, it's a simple little game, but it's super cute and obviously it has a ton of charm. I love it. Um, I hope you've been enjoying it as well. If you have been, uh, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.